Good morning, it's Monday, or no, it's Wednesday, and I'm so mad because I applied self-tanner last night because I was like watching old TikToks and I was like, I feel like I looked so much more confident and glowy last winter when I applied. I used the Isle of Paradise drops. This is nothing against them, I still love them because I'm scared to use like any other self-tanner because the Isle of Paradise is so subtle. You just apply a few drops to your lotion, but... I have really bad hyperpigmentation right here, here, and here, and the self-tanner, like it never did this before, and I applied like less than I usually do because I haven't used it for like a year, but it um, literally just like dyed those portions of my face like orange. So that is amazing. I still have to wash off um, the self-tan on my body. What? Where do you think you're going? Clark Leo's meowing at the door. Um, but yeah, it's 8 a.m. and I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll walk on the treadmill for a little. Cleo, do you want to say good morning to everyone? Say good morning. I'm Cleo and I'm so cute. I feel so bad because I'm leaving these women again. Oh, my camera's gonna die, but I'm leaving these women again because it's my dad's birthday this weekend. So I have to go away this weekend. And the weekend after that, I'm going to go with Cece. And the weekend after that, I'm going to California for a week. So it's like breaking my heart, also stressing me out because I feel like I'm just like always moving and no downtime. Because like the weekend's my downtime, but that's not because I'm driving and flying and, and my, my little ladies I'm just stressing about. But you guys will be okay because you love your kitty sitter, huh? Okay. I'm going to go to the gym, charge my battery. I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, I'm back from the gym, and I'm just in a bad mood. I don't know why. I was in a fine mood until I started blow drying my hair. That was fine. I think what set me off was I went to put on my stupid Mayfair Group sweatsuit that I spent like, I don't know, like $150 on. And, ew, there's like a little tiny ton of shoes I forgot to wipe off the counter last night. I went to go put it on, and like it's literally unwearable after um one wash so and that is not worth it to me no shade to mayfair group but i'm wearing hold on can you see i'm wearing this little french terry sweatsuit from sincerely jewels this is worth it washed it it fits still great i love it it's so comfy oh there's water on the floor Ugh. Anyway, I just feel disgusting right now. I don't know how to describe it. I feel very overwhelmed. I'm not even, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna make avocado toast. Honestly, I feel too angry to even film right now. I think I just need to be in my own brain. I'll see you guys when I see you. I love you. I'm just angry. And I know this anger is from feeling like stressed, so. I'm gonna listen to a little podcast, make some avocado toast, and then I get need to get my reading done before class. I think that's what's really stressing me out, so I'll probably see you guys. Cleo, oh, oh goodness, Cleo's starting to nail. Cleo, please, not right now. I'm gonna go make breakfast. Okay, I've cooled down a little bit. I made some avocado toast, avocado, spicy honey. This is the spicy honey I use from Trader Joe's. So good. Um, tomatoes, shallot, salt flakes, avocado, olive oil. Oh, I need to put balsamic drizzle over still. <sighs> I want to make grapefruit juice really bad. I have three good grapefruits and I know I'll enjoy it with my breakfast, but the idea of, um, cleaning the juicer after this is like stressing me out, but it really takes two seconds. So I'm just going to do it. Happy to have grapefruit juice, but uh, and now my egg's gonna get cold, and I need to clean this like whole machine. 
Like it's just, because it's stainless steel, it's all fingerprinted. It's pretty old too. I think it's like been at my house since like I was in high school. Or no, since I was in college, like sophomore year of college. Okay, finally ready for breakfast. I'm just gonna listen to my audiobook, chill, and get to work by like 11 at the very latest for class. <laughs> It's time to work. I'm gonna go on live so I don't scroll on my phone and I am really relieved because my products liability professor assigns so much reading and this week it was 181 to 225 and then an additional case he assigned. I have no idea how long the case is. I haven't looked at it yet. Excuse me. But um, yeah. Although 40, 50 pages does not sound like a ton, with like dense law school reading, especially like products liability and stuff like this, or there's like formulas involved. Um, okay, there's one formula. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It takes a long time. Like law school reading, like regular reading 20 pages can take me like 15, 20 minutes. Law school reading 20 pages takes me two hours. But at least I only, so I actually read ahead, I guess. He assigned reading, but we never got to it apparently. I didn't go to last class. Long story short, I only have 25 pages to read rather than um, 50, which feels a lot better. So I'm going to read right now and hopefully have time to make lunch before class. I mean, I'm not hungry right now. I just ate, but then I have class until 4, so ideally I would like to... I also need to get a COVID test um, before school just because I'm going home tomorrow, like I said, for my dad's birthday. So, yeah, I need to get a COVID test. Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go on live and get to studying. <laughs> The room, some of the rooms are just so hot, and my feet get really claustrophobic. And my shoes, like, and I start feeling like panicky, so I always have to take my shoes off in the hot rooms and hope no one notices. But like, some girl in my class was definitely staring at me because my shoes were off today. My feet get so hot. So I stopped at Starbucks on the way home. So it's officially the weekend for me. Thank God, I feel so happy. It's cloudy outside. It's cozy. Um, I got a mocha frap almond milk from Starbucks is a little treat because I need a little energy. So you do like a little bit of cleaning and pack. This is what I mean. Like I said, I feel like the weekend's me because I'm going away every single weekend for the next few weeks, but it's okay. Um, mocha wrap, mocha drizzle, almond milk, and then I asked her to put some of the little cookie crunch on top. Mm. It's really good. Before I go sit down and just watch TV and chill, I did get a bunch of packages. Not a bunch, but a few packages. I guess it's more than a few, so a few is, it doesn't matter. I have some packages, so I thought we could open them together. TikTok story yesterday, I unboxed Fresh Beauty, sent me like the best package. Literally, they like DM'd me and were like, hey, we want to send you some stuff, like let us know what you're interested in. So I like just like sent like so many masks and stuff like even after like a 200 dollars mask and i was like there's no way they sent me everything i asked for and like way more this huge box they even sent me a 345 dollars face cream which i'm actually gonna give to my mom all the products i don't use either i like my mom i give first dibs and then like friends i'll give like 
the rest. Um, and then if you guys know any good woman shelters in New York, totally off topic, but I do have um, so much like just unused makeup and skincare products that I would love to donate. Um, I just don't know. I've tried to do some research and I haven't really found any, but I know they exist. So if you guys know, let me know. But let's open the packages. First one, no idea what it is. It is a exfoliating body cleansing powder and a balancing shampoo. This looks cool. By Seed Phytonutrients. Interesting. So I think they're both powder. Oh yeah, this is a shampoo powder. This is a powder body cleanser. And then how do you use it? Shake powder across wet hand and lather. Oh, that's really cool. I bet it's probably really sustainable, right? Fun. Thank you. Next package is from Paula's Choice. And they sent a softening cream cleanser. My mom gets so excited when I get sent cleansers because I do have a pretty specific like skincare regime. So I don't tend to stray away from cleansers, but my mom loves getting cleansers, so I'll probably give this to her. Though this does say for very dry skin, which sounds really good to me. A hydrating treatment mask. I love hydrating masks. I'm so excited. And a, a I don't know how to pronounce this, a Zaliac acid booster with licorice and silic acid. Cool. You know, I used to always think that you shouldn't use acetic acid with dry skin until I um, until I had a talk with my facialist about that. And actually, you should just I think my yeah. Though I do think I've been using too much. You better be careful. But I'm excited to try. It. Like this says, use once to twice a week. I feel like I was using mine a little more than that. my hair is driving me crazy. Whatever. This next package is from. I have no idea. Sometimes it will say like on the return address you can tell, but sometimes it's just I assume they're like random warehouse address. So, oh, I know. Do you know what this is? This is a skincare brand, um, Bush Bomb, that I will be working with. So, stay tuned. Next package is Color Pop. They always send really cute stuff. Oh, this is so cute. This one's New York Knicks themed. This is actually adorable. So they sent um, a little, this is an eyeshadow palette, a New York Knicks eyeshadow palette, um, New York Knicks little face stickers. Oh, one of those little clear bags. And, uh, you know, since, like most venues. So this is literally themed for like if you go to a game. Cute. Um, New York Knicks. Is this, I think this is another eyeshadow. Yeah. And a cream eyeliner. Very cute. So I imagine that this one is also Brooklyn Nuts. Very cute. My grandpa will be excited. My grandpa's a big Warriors fan, obviously, because my whole family's from the Bay Area, but the Brooklyn Nets have some Warriors players on there now. So, Brooklyn Nets face stickers. This is a really cute package. Um, Brooklyn Nets eyeshadow. A little Brooklyn Nets clear bag. Brooklyn Nets eyeliner. And another little cream powder. That is so cute. Thank you, Colourpop. Next is from Tula Skincare. I think I received the package from them before. Cleo and Luna, our poor kitties, are scratching at the door because I made zucchini noodles before I left for school in like a big rush. And, um, 
it still smells so garlicky in here so I have the window open but I don't open the window when they're out here I lock them in my room when I open the window because they could literally jump out so oh we got a lot of stuff in this package All right, we got another face cleanser. What's this? Moisturizing hydrating cream. A cooling and brightening eye balm. I love the sound of this. Maybe I'll even keep this in the fridge. Fun. Love that. Um, these look so cute. Little lip balms. We got Exfoliating sugar scrubs is for your face or your body? I can't tell. I think just this is for your body. Very cute. Um, probiotics and superfoods. What's this? Oh, sunscreen. We love a good sunscreen. This is another sunscreen. This is a, ooh, a blurring and moisturizing primer. You guys know I love my primers. And last but not least, we got another 24-7 Power Swipe Hydrating Eye Balm. Love this. Thank you, Tula. I'm very excited. And that is everything. Now I'm going to break down all the cardboard, take pictures. I, I like to post on my Instagram for... Not every brand I do anymore, but like most brands I will post on my Instagram because it is so nice of them to send stuff. Um, and yeah, then I'm just going to go watch a TV show. We were talking about Sister Wives in my Family Law class, and it reminded me I just love watching that show. I love a good reality TV show, family drama, so maybe I'll go watch that right now. Organizing my closet is quite literally, and I mean quite literally, the last thing I want to do. But it is driving me so crazy. It feels so just awful. And I've been saying I've been to make. I've been. I have been saying I am planning on making a Depop since when, guys? April. And it hasn't happened yet. I'm gonna save like my designer clothes for Depop, but I think everything else at this point. It's just causing me too much stress. I'm just gonna either donate it, I'll donate most of it, and that like the in-between things I'm just going to bring to like a consignment shop. I'm going home this week and there's one in my hometown. I'm just gonna bring it there. I can't take it and I'm never gonna get around to doing Depop. And so I need to, we're just gonna, yeah. We're gonna organize this right now. I don't wanna do this, but I know I'll feel better. Okay, I'm feeling better. So this is all stuff that I'm keeping. This is all like designer mostly that I just cannot like fare with um, donating because I spent a lot of money on it. And yeah, so I'm gonna sell this, but like this is a lot better than what I did have in my closet. Like this is okay to keep in my closet. And th this like I feel like I'll, I'll show you. This is like everything else that was in there and the idea of trying to sell this was just like freaking me out. 
So this is all stuff I'm gonna bring to the little consignment shop in my hometown where you probably get like 30% profit or something, but it's better than nothing. And my mind is gonna feel so much more clear. I don't know, there's just so much stuff in here and it's like affecting my mental health. Um, so this is all stuff I'm gonna see. They'll probably like literally only take like a quarter of it because they think things, like they won't take anything that's too quote unquote trendy. That is all stuff I just know they won't take, so that's going straight to donate. And yeah, this is stuff I'm keeping, and then everything else in there is like gonna go back in the closet. I just need to reorganize it a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's the vibe. This bag I will be selling if anyone's interested. It's from the most awful person I've ever dated in my life, and like I hate this bag not because it's not a cute bag, but because it was for my birthday, and like I would have preferred like a two dollar or like a handwritten note on the back of a receipt than this where he just sent me a link and he was like does this sound good and like just sent it and then didn't even come on my birthday I was crying I mean it was really it was bad so selling that this is so sad I don't want to get rid of this Joe Malone sent me um the most beautiful package these are all real roses with their new Valentine's Day rose collection which smells so good by the way but they're like dying and I can't keep holding on to stuff, but I don't want to get rid of this. I love it. Okay, a lot of progress. I don't know if this makes the most space sense, but it's what I'm going to do right now. That's like my school stuff. All my textbooks are not there right now, but that's where they go. Um, shoes, shoes. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's making sense for me right now. I could just get like a higher rack, but I feel like I don't want it to be too high. Um, this is my perfume section, which I think is finally really pretty. That was my acrylic, um, desk stand, desktop stand that I just didn't really find a need for, so that's where it is now. More shoes, that's my Skims pajama bin, and then I put my jeans up there and trousers up there. And then all of my, like, old textbooks from past semesters are there. That's only from, like, two semesters. The rest are at home at my parents. And then more shoes those bags are a mix of consignment shop and then the two that i'm selling but i'm still gonna put it in my car so that it's just not taking up space and those two i'm just selling i also have this big princess poly box that i'm doing a video with soon but i think i'm just gonna take the clothes out of the box and put them up there closet is officially done i feel like i can breathe again it just there's nothing in there that's not supposed to be in there. And you never really realize, and this sounds stupid, but you really don't realize how much like an unorganized closet can affect you. And I really do believe like your space and the quality and organization of your space can affect you so much. And when things are unorganized and out of place, like at least for my brain, like it really leads to me feeling so unwell. Like, also, I just haven't even worn half the clothes in my closet because I have not been able to find them. Like, I, I just feel like there's a huge weight off my shoulders. I, I know it sounds dramatic, but I'm serious. This is so obnoxious. This is everything I'm going to go bring down to my car right now. I hope all those bags fit in the trunk. And then on top is just my bag for home and, like, other stuff I'm bringing back. But those are all clothes that were just taking up room in my closet. Like, that's crazy. No wonder I felt so stressed. This is hopefully going to be a smooth appearance. I'm just going to go grab my car. I park it under the building now. And I'm just going to bring it up and, like, bring it around to the front of the building and then, like, load this all in. Hopefully I can find a spot to just, like, pull in really quickly. And then this on top is for Cleo and Luna's kitty sitter. I can't give them, like, an actual key. So I just, like, put it in a bag and then have them pick up the bag because it's like a liability thing, so yeah. I'm officially done with everything. So much for saying that I wanted to um, chill at 4 p.m. It's now 8 p.m. and I have to wake up really early. This brand was really nice and sent me an Uber Eats gift card because they're sending Cleo and Luna um, sushi, like sushi cat treats. And they were going to send me sushi along with it, but then the restaurant um, that was going to give me the sushi was, like, had too many orders in, I guess. So they were like, we're just going to send you an Uber Eats gift card. So I just ordered pizza and um, cheesecake. 
from two different places. So I'm waiting for that now. I'm not even hungry. Like I literally couldn't even decide what I wanted to order. I usually go for like a burrito, easy, but I'm not in the mood for that, which is it's never a thing. So that's weird. I'm just like, I'm definitely hungry, I guess, but I'm not in the mood for anything, which is rare for me. But I'm gonna hop in the shower now, get out of my school clothes, because I usually take this off right when I get home, but I got right to work in my closet. And I'm feeling bummed out because I did want to relax today and also like just spend time with Cleo and them. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I hate leaving them. And I wanted to just like play with them and give them extra cuddles. And I swear Luna knows and she seems sad right now. And it's breaking my heart, but yeah. Let's get in the shower before the food gets here and then like finally chill. I hope that I want to be asleep by 10. Pizza is here. Look at how good this is. This just looks like a fresh and delicious pizza. It needs to be heated up a little bit, but oh, this looks so... This is like the kind of pizza, the kind of pizza that doesn't make you feel sick after you're done eating it. This is the name of the place. It's in Brooklyn. It's called Della Rocco's. I hope I'm saying that right but this looks fire. I'm gonna watch this, or I'm gonna eat this and watch either a Lifetime movie or Sister Wives <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm so full, I feel sick, but this pizza was so good. I was like, I don't wanna waste any of it, and I couldn't put it in the fridge for tomorrow because I'm leaving at five in the morning. Despite the fact that I'm so full now, um, I also ordered cheesecake. This is a chocolate graham cracker crust from my favorite place in Brooklyn, dessert place called The Chocolate Room. Um, it got a little messy on the way here, but that's okay. It's still gonna taste so good. Tell that Miss Kitty girls can tell that I'm leaving. They're very smart, and when I like have been packing bags, they know. And I also will like always set out like a extra bowl of water for them whenever I leave. And I feel like things like that, like they're smart enough to know that that means I'm leaving. Which just makes me really sad because I hate leaving them. It's like 10.30, of course I'm not asleep by 10. I knew that wouldn't happen. I feel so sick from everything I ate, no regrets, but yeah. Now I'm just doing nighttime skincare and I'm packing my skincare. I never bring makeup, but I am bringing a little bit of makeup because Celia and I are going to do like a little photo shoot, maybe. Just to get some Instagram stuff. Cause like I haven't posted an Instagram. Well, I did just post a throwback that Celia took this summer, but like I basically only take and post mirror pics now, which I feel like is so boring. And I'm trying to, as I've been saying, get better about posting also looking at my masks right now I might bring one of the new pharmacy masks I got for like a good TikTok actually I'll bring the Paula's Choice hydrating one because that's in like a plastic container it won't break all right I most likely will use some of this in the morning but I might not because I do have like extra skincare this is all my makeup and skincare packed in this little bag drunk elephant sent me when they like sent me a huge PR bag. I love this little makeup bag. Oh, it already got so unorganized, but there's that and I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, I feel like Cleo and Luna will knock this over. Well, I'm just gonna leave it right here so I don't forget it in the morning. Bye, Loni. I'm going to miss you so much. I'll be home so soon, okay, lovey? Bye, cutie girl. I'm going to miss you, but I'll be home so soon, okay? You be good. You be good. Morning. I have typical wanting to cry right now for leaving Cleo and Luna. Like, I literally hate leaving them, and I can't just be like, I'll be back in a few days. Like, don't worry. Like, they literally don't know. It's 6.02. I got up at 5.30, finally in the car. I hate when it's not like organized and perfect and there's so many bags of clothes and stuff back there because I couldn't fit everything in my trunk because I had stuff in my trunk. I feel sad. Forcing to listen to my audiobook. I also just made a driving playlist that I will link below. Um, it's like very, 
very diverse music I tried to make it so like all different kinds of music I think it's pretty good but I don't think Waze will download in here you guys always ask if I get scared um like walking around New York I guess that's so much on TikTok I don't get scared walking around New York at all the only thing that scares me is this parking garage um in my building because I don't take the elevator because I don't like unfamiliar elevators so I take like the stairwell down to it and I'm so scared of that stairwell um like I freak every time I walk down it oh, there's a car coming okay guys I'll see you we're gonna stop for gas and I guess we'll get Dunkin Donuts later I really need to get like a little car grip thing too by the way but okay I've got to focus on the road. just stopped for gas and it is a great great day because I went in and I was kind of bummed because you know how I told you in my last vlog that like I love those certain rest stops so people are staring at me filming but I don't care uh, of course I care a little bit since I just said that but anyway I went in first of all and I got a strawberry frosted donut because that's the best kind and the guy gave me two okay that was so nice he was like I threw in an extra donut already a great start and then I asked for a brown sugar latte I was like I actually went so not confident I was like do you guys have brown sugar and they were like we do and I was like you do so I got a brown sugar iced coffee with oat milk I kind of wish I asked for one Splenda but it's still like so good so good so it's 7 a.m. now, I've got like two and a half more hours. I'm just in a great mood right now. We'll stop for a McDonald's Diet Coke a little later down the road probably. And yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm literally about to run a red light right now. Like this Dunkin' Donuts is running through me. I've been a little constipated lately and this is becoming an emergency. So I pulled off an exit. Oh, thank God it turned green. I like really, really, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Use the McDonald's bathroom, but like I do not feel relieved, if you will. Um, I feel like this is just the beginning, which is making me very nervous. But like I did all I could. I'll spare you the details. <laughs> But now I'm sad because I definitely can't drink the rest of my coffee. I feel like shaky right now. This is not good. Oh God. I'm hoping the feeling just passes. I literally have been so backed up lately. Like I haven't felt good. This is not a good idea. And now I can't even enjoy my, I, I barely even drank any that much. Put me in this position. Oh, God, guys, keep me in your thoughts. Mm -hmm.